What's up, YouTube? Jeff back from SamuelGuru.com. Today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, we're talking about a brand new feature inside the gallery application on Galaxy phones. Well, it's in One UI 8. I know some people don't like it when I don't lead with that. So it's a One UI 8 feature that is coming out in stable next month. So good time to talk about it. It's a feature that allows you to get information about whether or not photos that you're looking at were edited with some type of AI. And so Samsung is adding this. It's basically a content credential, and you'll see this on your photos. I want to show you guys where you can find it and kind of what information it tells you in this video. Before we get started, I do want to remind you guys, make sure you check out the website, samiguru.com, cover the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. You guys can add us as your preferred source for Samsung news in Google um, News, and I'll put a link below. We have a tutorial on how to do that. You can also get in our mystery box program if you're buying a Galaxy S26 device, S26 Ultra, X26 Pro, S26 Edge. Tap that orange banner at the top, put in your phone number, email, or both. Get a free case, cleaning kit, screen protector, desktop phone stand, and 65 watt charger in every box, January 2026. All you have to do is use our affiliate link. That's how we fund the program. And uh, we cover shipping costs, everything, no additional charge to you. And we also make a little profit that helps us fund the YouTube channel and all of our great content at the website as well. Check that out below in the pinned comment description if you're interested. All right, so let's talk about the brand new content credentials. We wrote an article about this. Essentially, this first launched with the S25 series back in January, and now with the recent gallery update, it's reaching wide into other Samsung devices, including the Z Fold 7, et cetera. And what this does is it essentially allows you to see whether or not a photo was edited with AI. Um, it's backed by the Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity, the C2PA, the standard supported by major tech players, including Adobe, Microsoft, OpenAI, Google, and Publix Group. Samsung joined the initiative to set content credentials as the universal standard for digital content provenance. So they're integrating this with Gallery, and essentially these credentials will let you see if your photo that you're looking at was edited with AI at all, not just Samsung AI, but other AI tools as well. So for instance, like Google, um, the metadata cannot be easily fixed or tampered with in any way to change this information. And it will tell you the specific tool that was used. For instance, Photo Assist, in the case of Samsung, is a very common one. Verification and history changes to track whether an image has been altered over time, which does give you any more you know, information and authenticity if you're looking at a real photo or something that was generated by AI or doctored by AI, which is becoming a very, very important thing. Taking it over to my gallery here, I have a photo here I took of some stuffed animals for my son. And uh, essentially what happens is if you go swipe up, if the photo has not been edited by AI at all, then you won't see the content credentials here on any device uh, in the Samsung Gallery. However, if you have the latest Samsung Gallery in One UI 8, and you do have a photo that's been edited with Galaxy Eye, let's in fact just do this to try to illustrate the point. Let's try to get rid of Eeyore here with a little object eraser on Eeyore. And uh, once I do this and save a copy, you'll be able to see the content credentials in the photo's information. Does a very good job of getting rid of Eeyore. Samsung does an amazing job with this always. You can see the original here versus Eeyore being removed. Great job. Save the copy here. Save that in my camera reel. And now if I save the copy and I swipe up, you'll notice right here we have this new information. A little text bubble that has a CR for credentials contains AI generated content the AI tool used is Photo Assist. Now, if you tap this, you get additional information. The edit history was edited with the Galaxy S25 Ultra, Wednesday, August 27th at 3.13 p.m. AI tool used is Photo Assist, and the issuer is Samsung. Those are the That's the person who made this AI tool. So if you use any other AI tool from like Google, Microsoft, you know, OpenAI, whatever, um, presumably, I don't think Apple has joined this alliance yet, but presumably, Hopefully, eventually, Apple will join this alliance. And then if you have a photo that's been AI generated or assisted with Apple intelligence, if they ever roll it out, <laughs> just I crack myself up. But anyway, Apple should hopefully eventually join this, and you'll be able to tell the full edit history and also whether or not it's been generated with AI, whatever, and what information uh, tools were used for that. So I think this is great because obviously AI is becoming a ubiquitous part of everything in the tech world. And it's getting harder and harder on social media and everywhere you go to determine whether or not a photo you know, is AI generated or has been modified with AI. And this is something stored in the metadata of the photo 
So then it's really hard to remove or erase that. Surely some hackers or you know, people who are very technical with code will find a way to do it, but it's not a trivial task for the average person. And this definitely brings some additional transparency. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's a good thing. Check out the website, samyguru.com, for more great Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. Check out the Mystery Box program if you're going to order an S26 device. We can't wait to do that in January. It's one of our favorite times. We just finished shipping all of the foldable boxes for the fold launch uh, around three weeks ago. It's a great launch. I appreciate everyone participating. Appreciate you guys sharing this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.